guys welcome back to the channel thanks for tuning in in this uh, video we're going to be tearing down this little quad here of my brother's and he wants me to pull the engine and rear swing arm off and build him a custom chopper three wheeler with this setup so he's actually on his way here right now with some weld wire so I'm going to be tearing this apart Give me a second, I'll have the seat off and the front red plastic off. Alright guys, got the seat and the plastic off. <clears throat> I started uh, removing different pieces of uh, the wiring harness. I removed the hand grips off camera. I cut a couple of the, uh, what is it? the zip ties. Cut a couple of the factory zip ties off to free up the wiring harness a bit. Now let's see if we can get it off. Alright, I'm going to pop the chain off real quick. I found the master link. So I'll get the chain off and then try to get the engine out. Alright guys, got the frame completely stripped down. Got the front forks that we're going to use right there. Engine's there. Let's see. Got the foot bar off over here. And then we got all our metal over here laying. So now to cut this and get it set how I want it. And get that all cut down and bent up how I want it and get it welded together and see where it's at. So I'll probably bring you guys back after I cut the frame and see what we're doing. Alright guys, so it's in two pieces now. Oh, now I'm a little concerned. But I have an idea. So my idea is I'm going to take these two pieces here and bend them over and run one up the middle and then I'm going to try to leave this here attachment because that holds the seat in place and then I'm going to take and weld a bar solid here and run up to my forks and meet with a bar that I run down here up so I'm going to move this little front end out the way start measuring cutting bending and See where we get. I'll bring you back after I have some progress done. Guys, I said I'd bring you back when I got some actual progress done. 
So I got the top bar cut to 33 inches or so. I notched it a little bit. That way I have a nice snug fit around this bar here. Uh, I got it tacked down here in two spots. Got it tacked up here in a couple of spots. I want to get some plate and or some sheet metal and box it in a little bit up here. Make it look better. But I started welding over here a little bit. But I'm actually about to take and flip it over and do some more welding on them bars. Get it nice and secure. He, uh, my brother actually stopped by a little bit ago and he's liking it so far at least. So he uh, noticed that we're going to have to order a new brake cable for him. Nice long one. When it's all done, I'll get a measurement on how long of one we need for him to order. But I'm going to try to get the frame finished up and get the engine in it. See how it looks with the engine on there. So that's the next step. I'm going to weld it up for you guys and I'll bring you back. Alright guys. So I got it all welded all the way around there. Top and bottom. Got a lot of weld all the way around this. Don't know how well you guys can see it, but then welded. I have a hole up in here, but I'm gonna put some uh, sheet metal around it, make it look a little better. I don't know. I'll talk to my brother, see what he thinks. But <clears throat> now I'm about to install the engine. And then uh, put the wiring harness on and see how it looks. So I'll bring you back in just a minute with the engine on and mounted. So just got the chain on, got the engine on. But I discovered we're going to be running into a bit of a problem with the carburetor. So I don't have the throttle cable hooked up, nor do I have the little float for the carburetor in it. But yeah, we're going to need a have them order one that angles out to the left or to the right. That way the carburetor and the slide and throttle cable all clears. So, I guess he's gonna need a couple, three or four things. But, front tire and all, it's about seven foot long, I think, six and a half foot. So, he said he wanted it stretched. and Well, it's stretched for him. But I think this is going to conclude this video. After he gets the parts I need, I'll take and install a wiring harness. That or I'll do that in a couple days when I get bored while waiting on parts. I need to put a set of foot pegs back on it. I don't know if I'm going to use the original ones that came off the frame. Because I can still bolt them on with how I designed it. But I think I might just weld something on for foot pegs for them. But that's going to conclude this video, guys. Hit the like, subscribe, stay tuned for part two of this.